Hello there! Welcome to another pattern recognition video. This time we will be looking at a tactical pattern. This pattern I like to call or refer to as the queen sweep. And I call it that because we're kind of, you know, <clears throat> sweeping the defense or the rock from under the queen. We're sweeping away its defense. And this is kind of the typical situation where we will find this, this pattern. There's a tension between, between the queens, and the queen is only defended by a rook. And this is the worst case scenario for black because his move is absolutely forced. So what we do is we play the rook to the back rank and we sweep away the defense. So this is a case where the king can't run anywhere, so you have to take the rook and you just lose the queen. We also can have the case where uh, black can actually run with the king, but then we have two ways to take advantage of, of the sweep, if the sweep doesn't work immediately. So we saw in the first case that if it takes, we just take, but now if the king runs, now there's an opportunity to use an x-ray tactic and just take the rook and defend from behind. So this was a slight change in the first example we had the queen here. But the x-ray opportunity becomes available when the queen is lined up on the same file as the black heavy pieces, which often happens after a trade. We can imagine black just having taken a pawn here or something in, in the initial position. Maybe queen d6 takes d5. Also, there could be a situation where we get this move in, rook e8. And again, he can't take because we take the queen. But now when the king comes up, we take the queen. And now if the rook takes, there's a rook left behind here. Leave no man behind. So these are kind of the three main cases which we will see. And there's one more, perhaps, where uh, we can use the fact that we can play rook e8 and, uh, or rook to the back rank, and the rook, rook can't be taken, and then we can take advantage of the move on the next move. So we'll see examples, I think, more or less of, of all of these. So this first one, it's white to move. Black just played a bad move. f5 to attack the bishop. But this allows white to now... Take on d5, queen has a take, and what do we play here? We play rook to e8, and we sweep the rook. If you take, we take the queen, but if you run with the king or you block, uh, leave no man behind, and there's a rook behind. Very well, black to move in this one, so we'll flip it around. And this is a case of utilizing uh, the fact that we can play rook c1, which you can. Uh, you can't take because take the queen once again, so let's move the king. And now there's no man behind, there's no man left behind, there's no x-ray. But we can move the queen in here with check now. And now we have this double attack on the rook, and we win the rook. So this was a case of... The fourth case where we can use the positioning of the rook to do something else. Here a simple case. Uh, the first one we looked at. Black simply has no choice after rook e8. He has to take and the queen drops. Simple example. Here now one from the black side. Black to move. And here it's... Uh, it's an x-ray situation, we have this, and we play rook c1, queen drops if we take, the king can move, but now leave no man behind. The queen sweep has worked its wonders. Again, we see an example from the black side. And here it's, everything is lined up, so what do we have here? Yes, we have the x-ray. If there was no square for the king, we would have to take, and we take the queen, but there's a square for the king, 
but unfortunately there's an x-ray and black windsor rook finally it's white to move here and here it's the fourth case where we use the positioning of the rook to do something and here rook d8 is a queen sweep if we take and we swap the defense so the king has to move but now the rook is placed so well that we can actually deliver mate queen f5 and queen takes f7 so hopefully that's clear enough a very useful pattern that uh, crops up every now and then uh, i would say i would rank this rather highly on, on the frequency scale and i'll leave you with this one black to play can you find the solution and this one actually combines two other themes which we haven't looked at but i'm sure you're able to to figure them out and tell me in the comments what is the solution here we're going to need more than the first move we're going to need a few variations which, which you'll find once you start looking at the position so again thank you for watching i would appreciate if you left me a like on the video and i'll see you in a future pattern recognition video goodbye